this is how many viruses it turns out that there probably are on Earth, 10 to the 31. And it's kind of hard to give you a sense of how big that is. Um, one way of thinking about it is saying, okay, let's take all the viruses on Earth and stack them one on top of the other. How far can we go? <clears throat> uh, the answer is 200 million light years. Uh, so there are a lot of viruses out there, and we're not going to get rid of them all, and it would be foolish to think we could. Perhaps a better way of dealing with them is to find a kind of peaceful solution where we're not, we can shield ourselves from the worst of them and take advantage of all the incredible experimentation that they have evolved. I'll just give you a couple examples before I stop. There is a virus that infects insects, caterpillars, um, and it causes them to climb up to the top of trees where the caterpillars then explode and release the viruses down on the caterpillars below. It's wonderfully horrific. <laughs> And it turns out to be a great way of making proteins because the viruses make protein balls to embed new viruses. So if you just genetically engineer them, put them in a cell culture, um, you can make any, any protein you want. This is a billion dollar industry now. Uh, gene therapy is made possible in many cases because viruses are so good at pasting DNA into, uh, into other uh, genomes. So all the great advances we've had recently with gene therapy <clears throat> have come largely with the help of viruses as our little genetic engineers. Angela Belcher at MIT is doing mind-blowing stuff using viruses' ability to bind to things. So she's actually using viruses to assemble uh, solar cells and create more efficient ones than we've made before. So, you know, I can't tell you that, you know, in two years from now we're going to be facing, you know, a outbreak from some South American bat that's going to kill 83.7% of the human population. Um, I can't tell you when HIV will be eradicated from the face of the earth. Um, the one thing I can say is that viruses are going to be surprising us in the future. And what I hope is that at least some of those surprises will be pleasant ones.